What is up guys, in today's video I'm going to be talking about what I think is the best weapon in the game right now in Fortnite Chapter 4 Season 2 and how you can obtain it every match you play. If you guys do enjoy this video, find it helpful and informative, remember to give it a like, subscribe if you like to see more, and comment down below what you think of this Mythic Pulse Rifle. So the Mythic Overclocked Pulse Rifle is a weapon that has two different fire modes. When you hip fire it, it shoots really fast and it hits for about 38 body damage and 57 headshot, which that headshot damage is ridiculous, especially with how fast this shoots. And then when you aim down sights it does shoot slower it's still fully automatic though like you can just hold the trigger down just has a pretty slow fire rate but it has increased damage hitting for 55 to the body and i believe like 70 something headshot i don't really use the ads version as much i mainly use this as like a, a spray weapon or an smg it only has 20 rounds in the mag, which is kind of like one of the biggest downsides. But with the medium uh, ammo augment that makes it to where your magazines are increased for medium ammo weapons, it will go to 26, which still isn't great, but it's better than 20. And you will run through ammo on this weapon incredibly fast. The, the fire rate is ridiculous. And I think the hip fire version of this weapon is probably the best weapon in the game right now, especially as far as like spray weapons go. Like the twin mag is good. The tactical pistol is good. The new Havoc assault rifle is good. But I think this is just significant better than all of them it makes sense because it is a mythic and i just think in general getting this weapon massively increases your chance to win it has very insane fire rate very solid damage the bloom on it is fine like it doesn't have much bloom at all it basically has no recoil when you hit fire it on controller at least i don't know what it's like on keyboard but just in many ways this weapon is like the best weapon in the game so how can you get this every game that is going to be from the island that spawns in at fourth zone so pretty much as soon as fourth zone pops the island will spawn in and then you can go there and capture the flag and then when you capture the flag on the island you get this mythic pulse rifle along with legendary slurp juice if you're playing squads or any team game mode you will get as many pulse rifles as there are people so if you're playing duos you'll get two if you're playing trios three squads four uh, solos is just one and i don't even want to know what squads would be like with four people spraying you with this weapon i do not think that would be fun to play at all so not only does getting this weapon give you what I think is the best weapon in the game, but going to the island and capturing it denies other people from having it. And I think that's a really big deal. Uh, with this season, it seems like Epic kind of intentional, like wants people doing things with more intention because like, you know, the bosses at the vaults don't spawn until second zone. The island doesn't spawn until fourth zone. So I feel like once fourth zone pops, they kind of want everybody kind of converging on that location and fighting for this weapon. And then if you let somebody else get this weapon, they have a big advantage on you in fights. I think this weapon is like super overpowered. It is hard to get though. And I think it's going to get harder to get as time goes on because people are going to realize how broken this is. It already is like, you know, the island attracts a lot of people just because of what it is. But I feel like once people realize how insane this pulse rifle is, and it's kind of widely known that it's like really overpowered, I feel like it's going to become a situation where like you go to get it because not only, like I already said, you get a huge benefit from having it, but also you deny that to other people. And that those two things have like a huge impact on your chance to win, I think. So while you are capturing the flag on this island, be very careful and be very aware. If you're playing squads, you probably just want to have people set up on the house. But if you're playing solos, what I do is whenever I hear someone zipline or rift, I just immediately use my katana and get on the roof and then look down. If it's a rifter, you know, you have to look towards the sky or where you hear them coming. If it's a zipliner, you, you rift to the house and then look down at where the zipline would be. And then hopefully you could just get a super easy kill on them. I feel like that is the difficulty um up with this weapon you have to earn it it's going to be hard to get a lot of times you're going to get into a lot of chaotic fights on this island don't be too concerned about using your slurp juices during the fight because like i already said uh you will get more from capturing the point so it's kind of it's it's pretty <clears throat> insane in that regard you get the best weapon in the game and then you also get the best healing item in the game late in the match you know like you can also get the slurps from the supply drops or the vaults but this really sets you up to win in end game i think the like i've already said the hip fire is the best spray weapon in the game right now i think it has you know minimal bloom insane damage insane range and then if you do choose to aim down sights with it it hits really hard and if you're able to hit headshots with it it's really good i like to use a red eye along with it so i use three guns if you don't mind using the third person weapons at long range 
Uh, this pulse rifle is very good. I'm just not as confident in my ability to like shoot people at really far distances with the third person weapon or like maybe shoot people that are gliding or katanaing away. Like, you know, those really inconvenient fights or really long range fights. I like having the red eye just to know like I for sure can get damage on people because I'm like very confident with my red eye aim. But if you like using the third person weapons, you're like super comfortable with them. You didn't mind using the scar last season. You didn't mind using like the hammer AR in the past. I think this pulse rifle is ridiculously good. And I think just getting it increases your chances to win the game. Uh, you get the best weapon in the game. You get the best healing item in the game. And then also you probably just took out all of the last few like sweaty players just to earn it because most people know that this is insane or most people, most good players know that this is insane. But as time goes on, I feel like you're going to get more and more players contesting you when you try to get it. And it's going to make it even harder to get this weapon, but it's going to make it easier to win the game once you do have the weapon. You're basically going to fight all of the good players in fourth zone. And then the remaining players are just really passive. That's been my experience so far this season in Zero Build. The end games have been incredibly passive. But like the fights around the island, the fights around the vaults, the fights off spawn can be really like chaotic and fast paced. But like once you get to end game, it seems like the only people left alive were people that were like really scared to contest the island and they're just playing off snipes. I don't know what it is, but that's been my experience uh, playing so far in chapter four, season two. Let me know what you guys think of this weapon. If you've been able to get your hands on it, if you haven't, I think it can go a huge way in giving you uh, like an advantage in winning the game. I'm gonna let some gameplay play out that I got on stream recently using this weapon and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. I don't even know if that hit. Someone rifted and I don't know where they went. No, I think the augments are fine how it is. I don't know. I'd rather have the augments be questioned like bad than good. Like if they're gonna make a mistake, I would rather them be too weak than too good, you know what I mean? This is like personally what I would kind of want augments to be like kind of nice little bonuses, but nothing that's like that game changing or like you feel like you have to spend like 2000 gold re-rolling a game to get it, you know? And they're going to add more over time though. The red eye is still the best rifle? I think it's like a main AR, yeah. I think this pulse rifle is the best weapon in the game right now though. That's how fast it shoots when you hit fire it. And it shoots like, I think it hits 38 body shot and then like 57 head or something like that. And then when you aim down sights, it shoots slower, but it hits harder, I think. Like I think it's 55 uh, body shot aim down sights in like first range. Like if there was a guy behind that tree and I was shooting him, we'd be hitting 55 a shot body. And I don't even know what the headshot would be, like 70 something. And this is how fast it shoots ADS. Like it's not terrible. It's not like terribly slow. I, I could definitely see people using just pump in this. I just like having the red eye for really long range fights. Like if there's somebody all the way over there and I want to tag him with the red eye, I know for a fact I can. Whereas with this gun, I'm not as confident in that. Or like people gliding. Like this, this pulse rifle is so busted. That's why I just had to like fight for my life on that island and why I was like willing to do that. Like I think even before I went there, I said I'm going to go there and either die trying to get this or get it. It's just such, it's such an advantage to have it. And then on the flip side, if you have it, you don't have to play against it. Like, if I didn't go and do that, somebody else would have gotten it. And then, like, our... I feel like our chance of beating them in a close-range fight is, like, quite low. So it is just... It's busting. What the fuck just occurred, man?
Like, I don't think he tried to do that, bro. Like, when he just, like, sword attacked me, I thought he was trying to leave. Dude, let me go. That's so troll, dude. Said cannot do that right now when I pulled out my thing. Oh my gosh. 